and just okay their annie is good at damage cs destroyer and high kill participation um so but the thing that the thing that's good about the the good about the annie is that the annie has a low win rate so there's some way you can get it to make them throw uh, the Ash is aggressive, but is bad versus Jin and bad at CS and bad at Vision. I am good at CS. I like Alawi a lot. I'm an unkillable laner. I have good vision, but I don't get a lot of kills before 10 minutes. It does not mean... It does not mean that I don't usually destroy entire enemy teams, because I do. It is my privilege to carry an eye of God. It is my privilege to well, the Summoner's Rift. I have more games on Alawi than he has on Yas. I have a thousand eighty-four. Thirty seconds until on. minions spawn. I'm just saying, I have a thousand eighty-four on Alawi. That's a lot. I also have five hundred on Vigar, and I have over a hundred on Annie, and that's how I eventually got Annie to M7. And I'll show you. They must be tested to grow. Uh, you have to get, like, five different S-Ranks. Like, you have to get two S-Ranks for M6, and then... Alright. I don't know. I just... The thing I always hate about Nation Junglers, and why I sometimes like, forget to do it or whatever, because I get such a ominous vibe every time I have to leash a jungler that that jungler that I leashed is gonna go 0 and 12 every time. Like, I don't know what I did. I'm trying to focus. Because the early game against Darius as Alawi is not the most pleasant. But the second I get to a certain point with the ult and whatever, I can make Darius' life a living hell. It's a little bit tricky. Um, generally, you want to harass your opponent with tentacle slams, and you want to land your test of spirit on your opponent. Uh, your early game is not the strongest, but... Certain items, I'm trying to explain where Alawi gets stupid. I'm trying to explain how, because, see the thing is, Alawi has two sides, you may not see. One side is she destroys everything. The other side is she gets one shot a lot, or like, dies so quick she can't do anything. So, these two sides to Alawi make it tricky. Well, she has those two sides, but you don't often see it because she's not that mechanically advanced. But she tends to work on decision making and your ability to CS to some extent. And your ability not to die early because your later stage of the game is arguably stronger than even some of the second champions. Well, basically, it all revolves around landing the test. Uh, a lot of uh, all wins and trades. If you land the test of spirit, you generally win. The if you have alt and you land the test of spirit, if you fight it out, you most likely win. Like, see, see how much damage I'm doing with one test, and I don't even have a longsword yet. Like, this is, this is the power of this champion. It's, uh, a lot of it is about landing the skill shots and fighting your way out. She is also somewhat weak to stuns, and it can be very difficult to fight your way out of it. Um, I'm gonna go back real quick, because I'm out of mana, and I'm worried I'm gonna get ganked in the jungle. 
Because you, oh, as a Lowie, you really want to watch out if you're ganked by the enemy jungler pre-level 6, because you won't have your ultimate to save you even if you land the test. So that's, that's also a precaution. Um, Annie is an interesting character. Um, she is very basic, but she does a lot of damage. The main problem with Annie is knowing decision making and knowing, you know, like, when not to throw. And knowing when you can go aggressive and when you can't. And also reaction time. Reacting fast is very important with Annie because she has very limited options for outplay. Because that's what I'm trying to explain about her. Yasuo is just plain old difficult. It's just plain old. I told you, I told you, like, I don't know, like, I just said. I want to show you my Viger and my Annie mid. So my Viger and my Annie mid. Yeah, I, I want to get my test on one of them here. Let's see, can I... I'm trying to... To be one this shit. I'm trying to to be one this shit. Doesn't matter, there is still. I can leap on him if he be. I'm sorry if I didn't. I, I could have leaped on. If I leaped on him, he was dead. An ally has been slain. Annie is dangerous. I already told you that. I went 22 and 4 on Annie. The last time I played Annie, I went 22 and 4 versus another Annie. I she just does a lot of damage. She is this and this, and she's an Annie. Okay. The problem is you gotta understand. I play a lot of Annie as well. I had a game where I played versus another Annie. I absolutely I made the Annie go 2 and 20. Get. Alright. Okay, let me explain. Okay, the number one counter tip I can give you against Annie is you want to rush Merc Treads. Rush Merc Treads. She wants to stun you a lot. Alright. I'm just, I'm trying to explain. You want Merc Treads and Magic Resist. I'm first trying to explain how dangerous Annie is, and then the counter pick. strategy. Banshee's Veil and Edge of Night is good against him. I'm trying to give advice. It's hard sometimes to give advice, because some people don't want advice. I'm gonna go put my wards up. I don't... I want to play safe, but the thing is... I actually could play aggressive. I can play aggressive. That's the I can actually play aggressive and don't do shit. Ugh. The fiddle. I'm trying to harass this Darius. Darius is now playing like he has no balls. 
Like, if this this Darius is literally playing as if I severed his boss. Can, can I play mid or top? I can do either lane. An ally has been slain. I already told you I can play either mid or top. I'm actually a specialist on both, even though it doesn't look it. I know. It's because he knows you're he knows you're tiltable and he knows you're vulnerable on you. That's why he knows. I I know he he sees it and he's going to go nuts for it. That's how they work. I I can't I can't get this Darius to fight me. He, like literally won't fight me. Enemy rampage. They are setting up they're not just setting up for drag. They're also like the Darius is just playing as a casual ball. Actually, can we um, just make a new party so we can just play together without, um, like, just like, I don't need my win rate impacted. I'm just trying to harass the Darius. I'm sorry if you guys decided to do weird shit. I can get Black Cleaver now. I'm doing my job. Uh, should I go TP? You know what? I'll TP for it. Even though I might die doing this. Well, I need, I need it for moral support because my team's morale is completely into the, into the trash can. Um, I'm over here, um, but I have alt in 40 seconds. I'm gonna have to test her. Six and zero. Oh. Shut down. Enemy rampage. I'm not. I I have to be very careful because the enemy is extremely strong right now. She is in a very high position of power. She's in a very high position of power. So I can't. I, I can't, like, just. I can't fight that right now without Like. Yeah, I, I can't fight that without all. And I, like, you guys accelerated Annie insanely fast. Like, it's gonna take a while before I... Darius has no balls, he will run. I've severed his balls, basically. He has none. Uh, he might still kill you. Or not. I'm just saying. Um, I really want this CS. I really regret roaming for the drag. Bye. Yeah, I want... I want to, like, kill the Annie, but... The Annie... The Annie is really strong right now. I don't know, guys. So, I'm... I'm going to have to, 
you take that. I probably can kill her, but I need to land the test in order to make this work. I will get a... I didn't get my ult off. Shut down. <sighs> they leveraged the stun very well. Um, Fiddle used R and Annie used R, but I don't know what the CDs on those are at the moment. My problem right now is I need a lot of magic resistant items to deal with that. At the moment, I can only really fight the Darius without a lot of items. Because the problem is, is... Not only is there the chain stuns between those two, it's the fact that... I don't- I'm not tanky enough to tank both of their guys' burst and ult them yet. Like, I can, but it's hard. Your turret has been destroyed. An ally has been slain. I know it's over. I already slain. said it's over. It's just, I'm trying to, like... But, uh, at least you get to see the practicality of Annie. At least you get to see some of her... Her, her potential. Some of them. An enemy is dominating. I can't fight the Annie right now. She has the fiddle sticks is gonna hold her hands. So they're gonna chain the stuns against me, and I don't have. I've got my Merc Treads now, I think I can fight them, but I need my Merc Treads and my ult. I need my Merc Treads and my ult. I said yes because I said yes because I am sick and tired of this because I want to show you my Annie and my Viger, but nobody wants to see my Viger and my Annie. Because they, they want to see other bogeys. Fighter damn bear, and bear just took out. Then the fiddle sticks come. Out. I don't know. I, I just this situation is so out of my control. Like, I wanna get it into my control, but it's just it's, it's gonna be hard. It's not it the thing is, I'm not like I'm sorry, it just it, this game got out of my control from what happened. Have all and has a Oh my god, fearing! Take fearing! Fuck! Legendary. 
He is, but I just don't know what I'm going to do in this situation. I'm sorry. It's just... <sighs> the mid situation and the freaking fiddlestick situation kind of set me up really bad. Like, I'm, I'm fighting my way out, but it's hard. I'm going to fight it mid. Yeah. Hey, can can we uh can we kick him from the party, please, so I can show you my freaking stuff? No, you can keep him. I just no, you can you can keep Darius here. I just don't want the gas right. now.